Hello students. So today I am going to discuss a very very important topic in arithmetic called percentage and its application. Generally whenever I teach I tell arithmetic percentage is the heart of arithmetic. And you will see in its application profit loss discount is based on this. Simple interest is based on percentage. Compound interest. So this is generally you have in class 8 in most of the board. 6, 7 we used to have but in ICSC I see there is some change and other board you can see but this is there the main core base of mathematics in any board. So in class 9 we have in our ICSC board compound interest which is based on this. Class 10 there are 3 chapters GST, banking what we do recurring deposit and share and dividend. Sometime we have application of percentage in mensuration and statistics also. So it's a very very important thing and those who are in class 7 to 10 please see even if it is not in 9 and 10 see 9 compound interest application is there 10. So this is the core basic foundational thing of arithmetic. So please see many new thing you will learn which I have collected through my experience after teaching for 30 years as a teacher and then 20 years as formal teacher. So first we will see the concept. So before I start just if you have any query you can copy later on my email is given. So you can see that because for my videos comment and likes are disabled. So anything you can comment or give your suggestion or anything in my email and there are a lot of videos on maths in my RKF classes especially for ICSC from class 6 to 10 now I am also making videos for competitive exam and very soon you will have physics and chemistry also up to class 10 and then later on I will see for 11 and 12 also maths and other thing I will put so here we start is what is percent so percent is the numerator of a fraction so 10% see here example whose denominator is 100 so 10% literally means mathematically means 10 by 100 ok then uh, there are few things which while teaching I tell you percentage comes with 100% whenever you have to bring percent so I will uh, do sums where you will see this percentage goes when you remove percentage 100 comes in denominator. Then percentage is part by whole. If you have to find, I'll show you by sum. Into 100 percent. So these are the format you remember. These are given in any standard book. But I have made it in short. So you will get in books also. Then percentage of whole is equal to part. So these three things. These three things children if you see. I will use for doing sums on percentage. And my next two video will be on LCM HCA very important you see within a day or two you will have and then third video will be in square and square roots so and here also I am telling you this is my part one so I cannot cover everything so you will have at least part three and four so kindly follow even if you know it even if you have done it you are in class nine and ten you are preparing for any competitive exam please see all this whatever other videos are also there and you see Okay, so one thing before I start, generally student asks me, sir, what is the application of doing maths? See, in maths, two things have lot of practical application. Like this topic, we will see, these are all come under what we call commercial arithmetic. So, they have lot of value, even if you take commerce later on, you take science later on, after class 10, they will be very helpful. So, and another thing is mensuration. So, if you see our everyday life, because sometimes children they ask me sir what is the use of doing maths so I am telling you over here that arith arithmetic like what you will do here and your mensuration when you buy a house you have to see how much floor area carpet area super build area all those you will understand if you know mensuration and arithmetic and sometimes this is a why geometry that I will do later so Abraham Lincoln best you see he did Euclid's book so he said it, uh, when you do geometry, maybe in our practical life it has very less application. But he said, 
I read in his book, he did six books, elements, which was written or compiled by ancient Greek mathematician Euclid. So he said it makes me think better, reason better, logical reasoning develops. So maths is very important and as I told you, these two topics, your arithmetic and mensuration have lot of practical value in our everyday life, whether you become teacher or not, whatever you will you do in your life, this three uh, arithmetic and mensuration are very helpful in our practical life. So kindly pause the video uh, and then you can copy and then I will explain to you the uh, how we change percentage to fraction. Okay, so pause the video and copy. So here we start. So as you see, 10% means 10 by 100. When you cancel children, you get one tenth of a thing. So here I teach you. See, I teach you here mental maths also. Many things in maths, lot of things you can do mentally. So see here. What you do, 10% of 600 means one tenth of 600. So see, main thing here, today's my lesson is, Changing percentage. See percentage I'll write like this to fraction. So 10% is 1 tenth. So generally we remove 1, 0. So remember children, 10% of anything is remove 1, 0. So 10% of 7000 becomes 700. You will say what about 67? There is no 0. So what we do, we bring a decimal place here. Anything decreases, one tenth it decreases, decimal comes from right to left. Now what about 20%? 20% means mentally what you do, 10% I told you is 40, say this logic, 20% there are two ways of doing. So first way is by 10 plus 10. So 10% is 40, 10% is 40, here you see, so 20% is 80. Got it? Or another way, 20% if you see when you convert to fractions, it is 2 by 10 which is nothing but 1 by 5. One fifth. So mentally you divide the full thing 400 into 5 part. So 8 5s are 40, so you will get 80. So divide the whole thing into 5 part, take 1 part. So here I will try to develop your mental maths faculty also. So this is there now. Next, I told you 20% of 70. So, there are two ways. Either you divide 70 into 5 parts. So, 70, if you see which table, you see that 5s are give you 70. So, you know 14 5s are 70. So, 14 will be answer. Or other way, 10% is 7, 10% is 7. So, 20% is 14. So, either way you do, 14 5s are 5 part you divide or 10 10 you add answer is 14. Next is 25 percent. What is 25 percent children? 1 fourth. Divide the full thing into 4 part. Like 400. 100, 100, 100, 100, 4 part. So 25 percent means 1 part out of the 4. So 1 part out of the 4 is 100. If you are given 400 rupees always think in terms of money then your brain works very nicely. So you have to divide in, into four parts, 400, you get 100, 100, 100, 100, take one part out of that. Or one longer version is 10% is 40, as I told you, 10% is 40, 5% is half of that. This is another way for many sum you will see, but one fourth is easier, 10, 10, 10, 5. So this side we get 25% and this side we get so this logic also you can use 10, 10, 5, 5% 5 is half of 10, 25% of 900. So 25% means 1 fourth, this is, was 1 fifth, okay. So this is 1 fourth I did, this was 1 fifth, this was 1 fourth, so same question 25%. What we will do? Divide this into four parts. How you will do mentally? 
so 900 another way of doing is one fourth is half of half half of half means you 900 you take half which is 450 which will be 50 percent half means 50 percent and do half of that so 450 is 50 percent half of that is 225 so once more half half 25 percent is half half that way also you can do as I told you 25 percent is one fourth I told you another way like this you can do 10 percent is 10 percent is 90 10 percent is 90 5 percent is 45 when you add this you get 225 so once more there are three logic 25 percent means half half 450 half of 900 225 another logic i told you divide it into four parts you take one part a third logic is 10 10 5 now next one 50 percent 50 percent means half of anything 1700 how you will do half of 1700 what you do nearest you come to 1600 1600 half is 800 and 100 half is 50 so 1600 half is 800 and half of 100 is 50 so you get 850 don't do by this logic of 10 because it will take a lot of time 10 10 10 so 50 percent just do half of anything next 12.5 percent so it is half of 25 percent you will see this when you convert this is 1 8 Okay, so this is one eighth, half of half of half. Half is 50%, half of half is 25%. This is half of that. So divide that full thing into eight part and you will get one eighth of that, that is 100 you will get. So a few more example I'll give you. Pause your video, copy and practice them. Then I'll go to exercise. So here we go. So little harder looking percentage. So see how 33 1 by 3 is actually one third. So as I told you very first formula is when percentage goes, see my very first thing written on the whiteboard. Please copy it down, see that and practice those who want to prepare nicely for any exam. 33 1 by 3, so 100, 100 will cancel. It's one third. So one third of anything, see example here children, see here example. 33 1 by 3 percentage of 600. So it will look very difficult to you. So imagine this is nothing but one third of 100. So divide 600 into three part. So three part when you divide, so what is one third of 600? It will be 200. It's so easy. Generally you see, what you would do, you generally go by this way. Uh, 33 1 by 3 percentage then you put upon 100 so remember as a fraction it is one third next 66 2 by 3 it is nothing but two thirds see here I have shown you calculation so 900 2 part out of 3 so 900 you divide into 3 part ok so this is two third remember two third of 900 this you can do mentally so 300 300 and 300 so 900, we divide in three part, take two part out of that, it is 600. Same way somebody would ask you, what is 33 1 by 3 of 900, take one part, it will be 300. So this is one third, this is two third. So please, these are very easy, just you have to remember, this is one third and this is two third. Next one children and students see we have uh, 90 percent generally in ICSC board we have 600 mark paper six subject so if somebody gets 90 percent you will not know how much see what an easy way what is the easy way of doing you first find 10 percent I taught you just before 10 percent is 60 remove one zero so what we do before that what you write 100% you know is 600 ok children so just subtract mentally 100% is 600 anything full is 100% 10% is 60 so when you subtract from 100% 10% so 
So here you get 90 and this will be 540. So mental math, what is it tell you? 90% means 10% less than total. So 10% is 60. Mentally you can divide without writing 600 minus 60 is 540. So that boy or a girl who got 90% in ICSC has actually got total of 540 out of 600. Next thing, 80%. Same logic, children. 80% how will you do? 100% is 700. Okay, so 10% is 70. 20% is 140. Once more, total is 700. 10% is 70. 20% is 70 plus 70. 140, you subtract. 80% is 560. So this is how we...